Hello everyone. So today we will be looking at sixth grade lesson five. <clears throat> so to begin, uh, we have number one here. Hannah sold 48 flowers in three hours at the farmer's market. If she continues to sell at that rate, how many flowers will she sell in the next two hours? So we know that we can tell how many flowers she's going to have in the next two hours, um, in each hour. So that's the thing we want to know. So you have 48 over three to get the rate of how much flowers she gets every hour, which is 16, which means that she will, we just have to get 16. And we multiply this by two because three is our hours and two is our hours here. And th these are the flowers. And so is this. So since we know that there are 16 flowers in every hour, we can just multiply 16 by 2 to get the 32 flowers in 2 hours. And D is our answer. Joseph went to visit his grandmother with his parents. They drove 240 miles in 4 hours. What was the average speed they were traveling? Okay, so to find the average speed, we just have to get the number of um, miles over the number of uh, number of miles over the number of hours. And if we divide two hundred forty by four, we get sixty miles per hour. That is C in this case. <clears throat> Okay, so the next one, we have three. So Olivia had 24 guests at her birthday party last year, which bought, in which she bought 18 liters of juice for her guests. This year she is expecting 40 guests. How many liters of juice does she need to buy for a birthday party this year? So to solve this problem, we need to get the number of guests at our birthday party and 18 liters. So we'll get three over. Oh, we, we can't divide that by. So we'll, so we'll reduce here. We'll divide this by six. We'll also divide by six. Again, four over three. This year she is expecting 40 guests. How many liters of juice does she need to buy for a birthday party this year? Um, so what we do is we get 40 guests. We want to match, so we know this is times 10. So we need to multiply times 10 to guess one to get the denominator, which is 30 and this is the thing that we want so that is 30 is our answer there are 72 apple trees in an or orchard arranged in nine equal rows how many apple trees are there in each row so we get 72 apple trees and arranged in nine equal rows so you divide that by nine again and then if we divide 72 by nine we get eight so Eight is our answer, which happens to be B. Our last page, and last two problems. Uh, number five, Mr. Baker, make Baker creates 35 math test problems in five hours for the upcoming math pop quiz. How many questions does Mr. Baker create in three hours? So to solve this again, we need we just need a, um, the rate of questions he makes in one hour so we go wrong tool we go 35 over 5 because we want the number of problems and hours on here and we know that this equals 7 so the rate of in which he makes problems in one hour is 7 questions And 
and with that we just have to multiply 7 by 3 to get 21. So, okay, so last problem here. Nicholas decided to go on a diet. He lost 3 pounds every week. If he keeps losing at the same rate, how many weeks does he need to lose in eight, lose 18 pounds? So, to solve this problem, we need to know one thing. Yeah, we should actually need to know one thing, which is how many... Actually, no, yeah, we need to know two things. We need to, we need to know how many times is 3 going to 18. And since we already know how much um, pounds are going into the weeks, uh, we can just figure out how much we, uh, the, how much weeks it would take for Nicholas to lose 18 pounds. So what we would do here is we would say, we would look here, we would say 18 pounds in six weeks, in, in three, um, we want to know the pounds that he loses every week so and then we put that in here so you get six pounds actually no not six pounds in this case it would be weeks because he loses three pounds in every week so we're dividing 18 by the number of that and our answer is six. So this is our answer. Um, so thank you everyone. This is um, lesson five, sixth grade. And we'll see you next week.